Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Gary Jumps here, back with Pokemon Souls. So, in the last episode, we decided to take on two gym leaders once again, and we took on um, Janine of Fuchsia City and um, Sabrina of Saffron City. Now, in this episode, as you see, I started off here in Pewter City. Now, um, if we check our Poke Gear here, I didn't want. I don't want that music, okay? I hate that music. No, I meant to check my Poke Gear. Okay, big fail. But um, if we come here to the map, you see that we still haven't explored Viridian City. Pallet Town and Cinnabar Island. Um, that's a little spoiler with the Latios just roaming around, but let's just ignore him. So, do you know what? I don't like this music. I'm changing it. I'm changing it. Um. No. Yes. Let's go. Be epic. It kind of sucks that it's gonna change back to normal here, but you know, um. I could just use cut with or uh, grab bounce and use cut right next to uh, Diglett Cave and just walk around Viridian Forest, but I just want to show off how nice Viridian Forest looks in this game. Like Viridian Forest looks amazing. I don't know how they did it, but it just looks amazing. It kind of reminds me. It's kind of like a spoiler to black white uh, to black and white uh, before it came out. I think here's a full restore or, or max revive. It's a full restore, alright. But yeah, it, it just looks amazing. I don't know what's about it, but like, it just looks so amazing. Like, I like the way the grass is, uh, how they like, have everything. I love the music. It's just so peace and calm, you know? It, it's really cool. And, um, also, they, they added a few new things, but, um, it's kind of weird how you, have to, how you have to walk through it backwards if you don't decide to use cut near uh, Diglett Cave. But, once again, do they have anything in this tree at the beginning? Uh, okay, no. They, they just talk about headbutting the tree. Like, well, I, I wish they had kept that in, have uh, an antidote in the tree. You know, like they did in Fire, Red, and Leaf Green. But, with that, we are back on Route 2. I don't know how we're still on Route 2, but... You know, okay, we just run into a trainer. Well, it looks like I'm just gonna defeat this trainer really fast. Um, he only has level 30 Pokemon, so I... Oh, I thought Mirashaw would be able to get rid of that. Hopefully, we can level up uh, Electro here to uh, level... 50. Um, I'm gonna use Discharge just because it does more damage. Alright, and uh, no, I don't want your number. Wait, wait, if I talk to you, do you, do you get my number? Okay, I didn't mean to do that. I, I didn't know that if you talked to them again, uh, they would give you your number. But let's just put on more repels because we're gonna need them. And if we head straight down from Route 2, we're here in Viridian City. Now, as you see, there's a gym over here, but we can't really get into this gym just like in the old game the gym didn't have a gym leader it, or doesn't have whatever a young man from pallet town became the leader but he's often away viridian pokemon gym leader dot 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 the rest of the text is ineligible so um that's the old man that used to lay in the street and not let us pass you stupid old man huh <laughs> all right but um yeah so uh I guess we're just gonna head down to Route 1. I hate how they have all these little loading things. I guess they, uh, I guess, uh, since it was a DS game, um, they didn't know how much they could push the DS game until they got up to, uh, Black and White. Because in Black and White, they have a lot more, like, 3D type stuff, and it looks a lot much better. Like, I guess, like, in Diamond and Pearl, they didn't really do too much. They knew that you could do a lot on the DS, but they didn't know how far you could push it. So that, uh, you can make it look amazing and, like, have extra details, but... You know, it. I like. I, I really like this game. Uh, no matter what, even if it's not as good as uh, Black and White and Black and White 2. But here, we're here in Pallet Town. Now, right here, if we come in here, we can talk to somebody's mom. Hi, Red's been away. He hasn't called either, so I have no idea where he is or what he's been doing. They say no news is good news, but I don't worry about him. So, <laughs> I guess Red, the infamous Red's mom, doesn't care about him. But um, let's come over here and talk to her. Hi, my kid brother is the gym leader in Viridian City, but he goes out of town so often it causes problems for the trainers. So I guess, I guess this is the gym leader from, the gym leader's sister from uh, Viridian City. Obviously, she said that. But if you come in here, you can come up to Professor Oak. Uh, yes, he just tells you a bunch of stuff that you already know, and then he just, you know, it. He gives us a gift, which is nothing. Okay, he, well, uh, no, he said he'll give you a gift after you get all eight badges, and right now we only have five? Yeah, five uh, badges, but with that, we're going to use Surf over here, let me just speed up, and 
we're gonna have we're gonna head straight down from route uh, 21 it's kind of weird how this is route 21 but uh, usually in the original game uh, this uh, you're supposed to come through here either from Palatown or, Fu or down from Fuchsia City but if you go straight down from Fuchsia City instead of this way uh, they'll tell you that they're um, up for maintenance and that you can't really do anything because some boulder or something fell but if we just continue on over here we're gonna make it here to Cinnabar Island now something up here just kind of, seems kind of deserted. Let's talk to this guy. Who are you? My name's Blue. I was once the Kanto champion, although it was short-lived thanks to Red. So it looks like we're hearing a lot about this Red character. Like, we've heard about him before, but, you know, looks like we're hearing about him more. And I guess this is his friend or something? Anyways, take a good look around you. Alright. A volcano erupted, and just like that, a whole town disappears. We go on a winning and losing Pokemon, but if nature so much as twitches... We can be overwhelmed in a second. That's the way it is. But anyways, I'm still a trainer. If you see a strong opponent, it makes me want to battle. If you want to battle me for real, show me your Kanto badges. You've got six. You're not ready to battle me. Alright, well, I'll go get my seventh now. Gosh. Uh, if you read the sign, there's no notice here. The Cinnabar Gym is relocated to Seafoam Islands, Blaine. Alright, so... If you want to come uh, heal up, you can just come here to Cinnabar. Um, but let's just head uh, east of... Um, of Cinnabar Island. Sorry, we were just on the island. I forgot what what it was called. But let's just. Oh no! I hate when I do that. I don't really mean to like jump onto the island. I just mean to go around it. But uh, I think we we have to verse this this trainer here. But I think that's it. So let's just hurry up and verse this trainer, and then let's just hurry our way through here. So let's discharge this stupid Bidoof, and you're gone. Bidoof is from the Fortune in Cinna, so that's interesting. Bidoof was like probably the best slave from any game, but we're here in Seafoam Islands. As you see, a dugong is right there, and if we head up this ladder, we're here in Blaine's Gym, so I didn't mean to go to my bag. I meant to switch Lapras with Magnezone, so... With that, let's talk to him. Yo, luncheon in the making. This gym has many trainers and rocks in the way from rebuilding. It sure won't be easy to get to Blaine, but keep your cool and defeat the trainers one by one and you will surely find the path. So if we, it looks like we have to verse all the trainers, so you have to talk to all of them and verse them, but I guess I'm just going to try to level up Lapras here uh, for the gym because the gym does have really high level Pokemon, um, like a lot higher than ours. Um, here this Arcanine is using extreme speed. I've always loved Arcanine. If um, you caught a Growlithe back um, in Johto and still don't have a Firestone, uh, you can go up to Bill's house, which is a, um, north of Cerulean City. You can go up to Bill's house and then uh, show... show... Um, Bill's grandpa, the Pokemon that he's describing. I think the first one's always an Oddish, and then uh, the second one's a Growlithe, and then he'll give you a Leaf Stone for Oddish, and then um, a Fire Stone for uh, Growlithe, and then that's you, that's one way. And then uh, if you if you're still early on in the game, then you can go back to the Poke Poke Lathon and get a Fire Stone there for him, or you could go to um, where else could you go? You could uh, I know there's some trainers in Johto that like. If you give them their phone number sooner or later, they'll call you to say if they found something. If they find something, it's either stone or something. But, um, I think I'm just gonna, uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna waste time. I guess I should just heal up Lapras here and then just, you know. I mean, we have ether, so, yeah. I was gonna use that on Hydro Pump. And then, um, let's max potion you up. And let's verse Blaine. Hey, you. My gym on Cinnabar Island was burned down by the eruption, but I will not give up. Take a look at this cave. We have turned it into a gym and I am still acting as a gym leader. I will give you the gym battle if you manage to defeat me. Are you ready? Here we go. Now Blaine. He is one of the coolest anime and game characters ever. Like, he's just like an old man. I like how his head shined right there. But he's just an old, cool, chill out man. That just loves fire type Pokemon. And, um, uh, I'm going to surf. But, uh, right here. As you see, he has a cargo, level 54, ability flame body, um, held item, white herb, and its moveset is overheat, sunny day, smog, and rock slide. And for those of you who don't know, Macargo is actually fire rock, so it would be a good idea to have a water type instead of a ground type against this. And here he has Magmar. Now, Magmar is level 54, ability flame body, held item, white herb, 
and moveset um, Thunder Punch, Confuse Ray, Overheat, Sunday. So if that Thunder Punch hits, we could be in some trouble. Good thing he used Overheat like a stupid person. But Overheat is actually one of the strongest, um, what is it called? Strongest uh, fire type moves, so that will do a lot. It's one of the strongest fire type moves. It does 140 damage, I think it has 90 accuracy, but each time you use it, um, it lowers down your special attack, so any special attack moves you have uh, on your team will be lowered. It's a good thing. I actually like his moveset, the moveset Blaine has on his Pokemon. Thunder Punch, Confuse Ray, Overheat, then Sunny Day. Like, that, that's so good for Magmar, because if he uses Overheat, special defense is going down, and then if he uses Thunder Punch, uh, that relies on physical attack, not special. So, you know, it's really cool how he has it like that. And then Confuse Ray is just a status afflicting, and so is Sunny Day. So, you know... It's cool. Okay, this 1 HP stuff is getting getting boring. Um, good thing he's using his full restores here because his last Pokemon is like 5 levels higher than this one. So, I really have to worry about that one. And it's really fast. So, I think I'm going to switch out for uh, to... What's his name? For this Pokemon. But, uh, overheat, overheat, overheat. Wow. Uh, wouldn't it be a smarter idea to use Thunder Punch? Like, seriously? I mean, it still killed me. Whatever. Alright. So, his special attack went down again, um, and we're going to bring out Quicksand. So, Quicksand has been really helpful here in Kanto, like, I do, I really do recommend having a, gr a ground-type Pokemon for, um, when you come to Kanto, just because they will be really helpful. So, like that, uh, he's going to bring out his next Pokemon, and we level up to level 52, that's great. Now, if we can hurry up. Um, okay, so his last Pokemon is Rapidash, level 59, its ability is Flash Fire, its held item is White Herb, its moveset is Quick Attack, Bounce, Overheat, and Flare Blitz. So, right ahead, I'm gonna go for an Earthquake, hope that we're faster, and we are, we're faster than Rapidash, oh yeah. I think Rapidash and Arcanine are, like, the fastest, uh, Fire-type Pokemon, uh, so, uh, it's kinda cool how we're faster than that, cause Quicksand's speed is extremely fast, like, it's crazy. If this Overheat kills me, I'm gonna cry. I mean, obviously... It shouldn't, but I, yep, it will. Okay, bye-bye. And it was a critical hit. Yeah, no matter what, I think we would have died. But, I mean, uh, Doug Trio had a good had a good run there. I mean, he got Rapidash to the red zone, but uh, who's going to be able to take him out? Uh, I think Ace is the only one. Yeah, <laughs> the, my other three Pokemon are like, would, would just get crushed by this Rapidash. So I'm just going to use Fly. Wow, I thought I got rid of all his full restores, man. Alright, and since I'm using Fly, I'll just do that, and that doesn't really do a lot. Good thing that Overheat missed. I'm going to use Drill Peck just because it's faster and I don't have to wait a turn, but let's see what it does, and hopefully, it, okay, okay, yeah. Oh my god, if this Overheat kills Ace, I'm going to cry miserably. Please don't kill Ace, please don't kill Ace. I thought I would have less trouble with this gym. But I'm gonna bring out Chuck and just use him as a uh, as a thingamabob, as a what's called thingamabob. But I'm gonna let Diglett uh, finish what he started. So you know, I'm gonna bring out Quicksand and Chuck, come back out. All right, use another revive on. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm gonna use a revive on Icebreak Icebreaker instead, just because he can actually take hits and. Let's see, Hyper Potion, Icebreaker, and let Chuck die. Now it's four times effective, damn. Alright, so, wow, I just noticed how much I was speeding up, I'm so sorry guys. <laughs> I, I didn't notice that before. Flare Blitz could actually kill you. I don't know why you went for it, you're in yellow. Um, yeah, Flare Blitz actually has a lot of recoil damage, and yeah, you're definitely dead, just because I'm using Surf. So, I guess with that, we have finally finished off this stinking gym. Ah. <sighs> All right. I actually think that was that was a pretty good match, wasn't it? Wasn't it, guys? It was pretty good. Yep, I think it was pretty good. So, with that, we have finished off our seventh gym. Awesome. I, I'm burned out. Take this volcano badge. Carl's received the volcano badge from Blaine. So as you see, we got a new little thingy on the top of the screen. But yeah, he then I think he gives us overheats. Um, is it? Uh, I think was it? It was. TM, TM, uh, B 50, I almost said 50, yeah, it's overheat, I did whoa, ah, uh, I kept burping, but, um, I didn't notice, or, I wasn't reading the, the words when he gave it to us, but I was pretty sure it was, uh, 
overheat. So now we can actually leave this gym. And remember Blue over there on Cinnabar Island? I think I'm gonna go talk to him real quick once I heal up. Just because last time he said we didn't have enough badges to fight him. So let's see if we have enough badges now after I heal up, like I said, because my Pokemon are dead. But I will be training up uh, for next episode just because, you know... I can I, I won't be able to kill him next episode or I won't be able to have a good match against blue next episode because his Pokemon are way higher level It's weird how the how Pokemon from this uh, or the gym leaders in this game have really low level Pokemon Like uh, Brock and Janine and then like these Pokemon are like really high leveled. So Let's just talk to him if you want to battle me for real come to Viridian gym I'll be waiting for you. So I guess he already knows we got our seventh badge and now he's Going to Viridian Gym, so I guess we found out who the Viridian Gym leader is. So if we come down to Viridian City, obviously I'm not gonna verse him this episode just because it's getting pretty long, and there are some trainers in his gym. But I think next episode we'll verse Blue just because that's gonna be our last badge, as you see here. We only need one badge left out of all 16. That's crazy. We've come a long way in these 30 something episodes i think it's 30 i think we're on the 32nd episode yeah whatever but um i think that's gonna be it for this episode hopefully you guys enjoyed and tell me if i'm doing anything wrong or right in my videos tell me if you like the quality stuff like that so without further ado i think that's gonna be it for this episode peace out guys